Hello everyone. Today, this dentist is going to the dentist. This is Dr. Tamisha Dennis and this is The Modern Smile. Even though I am a dentist, I can't in fact treat myself. So today, I'm going to go visit my friend, Dr. Tiffany Moncrief, and she's going to do a crown for me in addition to a filling. So I've had this tooth, it's been bothering me for a little while on my lower left side, and I think that it's cracked and I need a crown. I'm not very up, um, objective when it comes to um, diagnosing myself. I usually think the worst. So today I'm gonna get her objective opinion and hopefully she could get some work done for me today. So I just pulled up to her office and hopefully she'll let me record some of the stuff. I'll try to do my best to document the whole. So this is her office, just pulled up. I get my stuff together. Um, she says that she has a Serac machine, which is basically, it helps you to, um, you can make a crown in one. I won't lie, even though I'm a dentist, I get really nervous anyways. It was my first time in the office, so she had to put everything in. And then what we did is we took an x-ray of the area. And now here you're gonna see me um, having an x-ray taken. I am not a fan of taking x-rays. Some of the x-rays, they kind of dig into the floor of your mouth, make your eyes water. It doesn't hurt, but um, dentistry has gotten a lot better in terms of being more advanced. And also, when we used to take x-rays, you take an x-ray and you have to go to a dark room and dip it in something and then wait till the x-ray exposes to see if you got a good x-ray. Kind of like taking pictures on an old school camera. You have to wait till you went to the Walgreens or the, the pharmacy store and see your pictures develop. Now it's instantaneous. Right then you can see if you took a, a good one. She also attempted to take a picture to capture my crack on film. Just to visualize that, it's always good to have control or photograph. The next thing that you're gonna see me doing is getting an injection. To be honest with you, and I think just like all people, the anticipation of getting an injection is much more scary than the actual feeling of getting an injection. And that's because the needle and the whole apparatus looks so intimidating, but it really is the tiniest tip, the point that goes in. And what really is painful about an injection, if it is painful, is really... Um, the liquid entering into a tight space. So it's not the needle that hurts, but the liquid that is entering into the tight space is what, what hurts a little. And I got probably one of the more painful injections. It's called an inferior alveolar block. To be honest with you, it didn't hurt that much. Um, and I'm just saying that not because I'm a dentist, believe me, I'm probably the most difficult patient because I know everything and that kind of makes my brain on hyperdrive, but it really wasn't that bad. She's really good at giving a good injection. So I didn't have that, I didn't have pain at all. It's just that kind of weird sensation that kind of takes over when your tongue starts to get numb and your chin starts to get numb and it makes it very difficult to speak. So here you can see her starting to um, drill out the cavity on the back tooth and also prepare my tooth for a crown. Um, I was recording the whole time so my arm was up and I was getting tired but it, it really didn't matter to me. I'm Again, I'm probably not the easiest patient to work on because I'm always trying to dictate what needs to be done. But I mean, it was fine. Um, I feel like it's always important for me to get work done even though it's not because it's my choice to get work done. But I like to stay connected to how it feels to be in the dental chair. When you're a dentist and you're on the other side, you're the one standing up, you're the one doing the treatment, sometimes it's hard. Um, you know, you kind of forget what it feels like to be in that vulnerable position, to sit in the chair, to be laying down, to have somebody poking you with things and water in your mouth and all those things. So I actually, I think it's a good thing that I've had dental work because it helps me stay connected. I know lots of dentists who've never had a cavity, never had a wisdom tooth pulled, never had a root canal, never had an implant. I've had all of those things done. So it's so important for me to stay connected to that because if you understand what your patients feel, then you can be a lot more sympathetic to their fears because a lot of it is anticipation and you being kind and generous and paying attention to a patient as they're getting work done is so, so, so important. For some reason, I have a really hard time getting numb. 
I'm not sure if it's my metabolism or the anatomy of my mouth and some people they have that issue even though I have all the signs of being numb I get you know my tongue gets numb my lip gets numb everything um, in particular for some reason I have a hard time getting numb even when I've had teeth pulled I always kind of feel like I feel it so um, Again, I'm not the easiest person to treat, but I get through it. Um, it's not the most painful thing in the world, but it kind of gives you that weird chill where you just kind of tremble a little bit. But I, I don't know. I get really excited to go to the dentist and get stuff fixed because I do not want to walk around in the world with pain. I want to enjoy food. I want to bite on both sides of my mouth. I don't want to um, go through that. So I'm like, more. let's get this done. So um, I was really grateful that she was able to do those things for me. On this next part, you're gonna see something really cool. This is basically her taking a digital impression of my tooth. So there's a scanner and it makes these like kind of noises where it's singing this song and it goes all along the areas where she got ready for the crown and the inlay and then it, it scans the tooth instead of the mushy impression material. Um, scans along the tooth, that's with the Cerec machine and then what she does is she scans my bite also and then she also scans my other teeth and it all shows up on this computer monitor where you can see all the scans and that's gonna get read digitally this next part you're gonna see actually the Cerec machine in action so there's two little drills that come through the side and there's a block in the middle and what it's doing is cutting and it's milling the tooth as we go now the tricky part of that is you can't really see through all the water but you can kind of tell it's kind of one of those things that when it's being designed you can't really see it um, very well but as you start to see the piece of the tooth take shape then you can kind of see all the pieces and how it's going to fit exactly into that digital impression that you took. Now this is Dr. Moncrief taking my inlay out of the machine and she's holding in her hand and you can see that little piece of tooth that's going to fit right snugly in the inside of my tooth. Here you're going to see she's starting to try in the inlay and then what she's also doing is she's going to put some cement on it and get that cemented right in into the top of my tooth. So I'm all done with my dental appointment. I end up getting one crown and one inlay, but it was really good. My friend is awesome dentist. She did a really great job. I'm super numb. I'm starting to feel my face again. I'm not talking as funny as I was, but it was nice to get as busy as I am to get all of my dental work done in one appointment, which was awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Palm Beach Dentistry. Thank you, Dr. Tiffany Monkey. Thank you for watching this video about this dentist going to the dentist. I hope that that gave you a little bit more faith in the process. I know most people don't enjoy going to the dentist. Even me, I'm a dentist and I don't like going to the dentist sometimes, but it is so, so necessary. Remember, some of the things that we do in life, working out, eating right, taking care of our bodies, sometimes they're not always that enjoyable, but they are so necessary to our overall health. So hopefully this gave you a little bit more courage today to take that leap and call your dentist and make an appointment and get your work done. There is no need for you to live in discomfort when there's solutions to the problem you, problems that you have. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ask any questions and comment below. Thank you for watching.